Hi guys, there's so many different types of home trainers on the market today and a great deal of people don't understand what they do or which one to choose. Whether you want a fluid trainer, a magnetic trainer, a direct drive or a roller trainer, it can become difficult to decide. So today I'm going to take a closer look at the most popular types of trainers that push e stock, the fluid trainer and the magnetic trainer. A magnetic or mag trainer uses adjustable magnetic resistance to create drag against the bike wheel. There is a flywheel in the trainer that has rotating magnets so you can create the amount of resistance that you want. To change the amount of resistance, you will need to either get off your bike and select your new level or change the resistance via the handlebar mounted adjuster. In general, mid to higher price mag trainers will give you a smooth ride and relatively good resistance adjustment, but will be mainly for warm up training and not interval strength training. Now the fluid trainers also have a flywheel that is driven by the bike's rear wheel on a roller, but these create their resistance through an impeller spinning in fluid inside the flywheel. The impeller is designed in such a way to create bad currents in the fluid and not a cyclone. When you pedal faster, the trainer's resistance becomes progressively more challenging. Fluid trainers are described as mimicking road riding better, and these trainers will be best for interval training, gaining leg strength, and also stamina training. Overall, the fluid trainer will be much quieter and will work with you much better as you will never be able to outpower it. And this is because you can run a much higher wattage than the mag trainer. But for the average rider who just wants to log kilometers, the mag trainer will do a great job. And you can check out the full extensive range of trainers on pushies.com.au. Good luck with keeping fit through winter.